and girls, we are so glad to see you all today. I am so excited because we're gonna be talking about superheroes today. I can't wait. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Me too, so let's play a game. It's time to play freeze dance. Here's how you play. I'm gonna tell you which dance to do, and when I say go, you do that dance move. But when I say freeze, you have to stop right where you are. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Okay, first, I want you to do your best dance move. You think you guys can handle that? Okay, ready, three, two, one, go! Awesome job, you guys are great dancers. All right, next, we're going to dance in slow motion. Are you ready? All right, here we go. In three, two, one, dance. Oh, you guys are so good. All right, now we're going to dance as fast as you can. You guys ready for this one? All right, ready, three, two, one, go! Whoa, you guys are so fast. That is some of the best dance moves I have ever seen. I had so much fun dancing with you today. Now it's time for us to take a look at our memory verse. Hey boys and girls, are you ready for our memory verse? It's found in Ephesians 6.10 and it says, Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Let's stand to our feet and shout it out together. Come on. Stand to your feet. I'll do the motions and you can repeat after me. Are you ready? Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10. Good job. Let's say that again. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10. Great job, everyone. Let's say it one more time in our best superhero voice. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10. You did a great job, boys and girls. Go ahead and stay standing on your feet because we're gonna declare the word of God. God's word is, that's right, God's word is powerful. Okay, let's shout this out. In one, two, three, four. to be able to declare God's word over our lives. Now stay standing with me because we're getting ready to worship. There's no way you won't go. Nothing you won't do. No place that I could hide. You're always in pursuit. I'm never too far gone Always in 
your side When I wait for you You're always right on time You're always pursuing Always pursuing Always pursuing You made a way for me Opened up the door Jesus, you have my heart Now and forevermore You're always pursuing Always pursuing Always pursuing me
Oh, his name is above, his name is above depression. His name is above loneliness. Oh, his name is above disease. His name is above cancer. His name is above every other name. Jesus. says to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6:10. Can you all say that with me? Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6:10. Great job. That verse teaches us about how we can be strong and powerful with God. God gives each one of us special superpowers. Like me, I can fly. Woo, look in the sky. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Captain Roger. Right, so today we're going to learn a new superpower that God gives us. We're going to talk about a superpower of serving others. Boys and girls, do you know what it means to serve? Oh, I do. It means like how the people serve you food at Olive Garden. Have you guys ever been to Olive Garden? They have endless pasta and breadsticks that make great swords too. Well, yes, it does mean that, but it also means to help others. We see people all around us who are serving others like doctors and teachers. Boys and girls, what do teachers help us do? That's right, they help us learn. And what about doctors? Yeah. They help us when we're sick. Did you know that we can serve others too? We can. And that's why today our main point 
is I can serve others. Let's say that together. I, I can, can serve, serve others. others. Can we whisper it? Sure, let's whisper. Ready kids? I can serve others. Now let's say it loud. Okay friends, you heard Roger. Let's say it as loud as we can. I can serve others. Great job. So how can we serve others? Oh, maybe my mom says, Roger, can you put, please put away the dishes? I can say, you got it, Mom. That's right, Roger. Boys and girls, won't that make his mom so happy when he helps her? Yes, it will. OK, what about serving your siblings? What in the world is a sibling? <laughs> like your brother or your sister. Oh, OK. I can grab them a snack on the top shelf when they can't reach it. That's a great idea, isn't it, friends? You see, we have opportunities to practice the superpower of serving others every single day. This reminds me of a story that Jesus told about a man who helped someone in the Bible. Jesus said that there was a man who was traveling when all of a sudden, some robbers jumped out and attacked the man. Oh no, did he have any swords on him? Maybe he went to the Olive Garden before and had his breadstick sword for protection. No, Roger, back to the story. The robbers beat up the man. They took his things and they left the man on the side of the road. Oh no, he needs help, let me call 911. Wait, 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 no, 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 he's not here now. This is a story from the Bible. Right. The man was hurt very badly, and he needed help. Who would help him? A doctor can definitely help him. I'm calling 911 now. As I was saying, Jesus said as the man was lying on the side of the road waiting for help, a priest walked past him. The priest saw the man, but was too busy, so he kept walking. <gasps> he didn't stop to help? No, he didn't. Next, a Levite walked by. Oh, I have a friend named Levi. Roger, I said Levi, not Levi. He too saw the man lying on the side of the road, but he walked to the other side and passed by. <gasps> he didn't stop to help either. What is wrong with these people? Finally, a Samaritan man came down the road and he stopped to help the hurt man. The Samaritan man bandaged his wounds and took him to a safe place where he could be cared for. Wow, what a good friend he was. You should call him the Good Samaritan. Yes, that is what he's called. So boys and girls, which man do you think God wants us to be like? The Good Samaritan, he was such a good friend. I wanna be a helper like he was and serve others too. That's right, we can be like the Good Samaritan. We can help and serve others. God loves to see his people serving others. Miss Amy, I want to serve others too. I'm going to see what I can do around my house to help my family. I'll see you later. Oh, that's a great idea, Roger. I'll see you next week. <coughs> Boys and girls, there are ways for us to serve others around us every day. It can be our parents, our siblings, our friends, or even our neighbors. There are so many people serving us every day, like grocery store workers, nurses, and police officers. And that's what our main point is today. I can serve others. So let's all stand up and say that together. I can serve others. Great job. Now, let's all pray and ask God to show us ways we can serve others. Dear God, Thank you that you have given me the superpower of serving others. Please show me ways to help others around me. We love you. Amen. Boys and girls, it was so great to have church with you today. We'll see you again next week. And remember to wear your superhero suit. We love you guys. Hey guys, we need your help. Have you ever been to the doctor when you didn't feel good and needed medicine? There are a lot of people who are sick right now and doctors and nurses are working really hard to take care of them. These doctors and nurses are getting really tired and we need to help them. 
We need you to use your superpower of words to encourage them. Can you make two, three, maybe even four cards to encourage doctors and nurses? You can say thank you, give them a verse, say a prayer, or even draw a nice picture, just like this one that I made. Ask your parents to drop off your cards at your local Gateway campus in a drop box marked with a big heart on it. The drop box will be located at the front doors of the main entrance. Drop off hours are 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day through May 4th. If you would like to submit a thank you digitally, you can visit gatewaypeople.com. We are so excited for this opportunity to bless these hospital workers. We can't wait to see all the amazing cards you guys make. We love you and we'll see you guys later.